Uh, we're here today at the Midsummer Festival and we're about to start a march. This is one of the organisers of the march, Michael, and then the other organiser is Danny. Um, and their group is called Agape Support Services for LGBTIQ ex Jehovah's Witnesses. I'm straight, why am I here? Because when we were Jehovah's Witnesses, we were really discriminatory against the community. So what I'm calling for is to ask people to support us, to help their family members and their friends who might not be straight. We're a group for ex Jehovah's Witnesses that identifies LGBTIQ. We're here today basically to create awareness around people that are going through the hardship of leaving the Jehovah's Witnesses. Being a minority within a minority is always difficult because you're already ostracized for being one level of minority, but then as soon as you know you're um, a minority within that minority, then you're um, ostracized by that group that you um, are you know, supposed to be your family and supposed to be the people close to you um, and you're just, you're, yeah, it's hard. Uh, one quarter of people of my generation, LGBTIQ people, have attempted suicide and for ex Jehovah's Witnesses, I don't know what the rate is, I imagine it's much higher than that even because of the shunning. I'm a former Jehovah's Witness, I'm supporting my fellow former Jehovah's Witnesses people who really want to love the person they want to love which is, may not be something that Jehovah's Witnesses want to hear about. Being gay as a Jehovah's Witness is um, really difficult because um, they believe that being gay is a choice. Um, I was actually pressured um, as a young adult to uh, find a wife um, and get married, uh, which actually brought me to Australia. Well, I came out in the 1990s in Western Australia and yeah, it was horrendous. Um, Everybody who came out in the 90s in WA is scarred for life, regardless of their religious background. I was disfellowshipped in 1994, if I remember correctly, um, because of the person I want to love, I'm not allowed to love. Um, I married my um, ex-wife here um, about uh, 12 years ago, and um, then I you know, decided to uh, live my life as a gay person and we got, my ex-wife and I got divorced. Sadly, I've not been able to speak to any of my family since that, that date. Um, I don't know my three nephews who live in, live in Australia. Yeah, it came at a cost of being shunned by some of my family who still haven't spoken to me 10 years on. It, it, it's a very abusive, controlling cult. It's really horrible, horrible thing to be completely removed from, from your family and the people that, love, that are supposed to love you. I have, haven't spoken to my mum for over seven years. She's decided to really finally cut ties because of the religion and what it believes. It's quite isolating uh, once you leave. So what we want to do is just basically create families, friends, networks for people. So we're here at Midsummer Pride March Festival. We are heaps excited for this because as far as we know, this is the first uh, LGBTIQ ex Jehovah's Witness group to be a part of a Pride March. So we're here with the team, uh, with supporters, friends, family, to basically support this movement and to help more people be aware of uh, what people are going through still in the LGBT community. It's so cool. All these people are supporting us. 
and giving us the strength to keep going. I am so proud of this team, so proud of what we've managed to achieve today. I'm here to support my friends, oh, it's a good cause, and I'm just happy to be here. community has ever marched anywhere in the world. Please! Yeah. 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 Yeah.